Guys, there's a solar panel scam going around in Houston, so let's check it out. Guys, I've never had a door-to-door -door scammer. I, I mean, I had somebody ask for money before. I, I politely told them no, but I never, you know, they were being honest. They are being honest with what they are trying to do. <clears throat> Sorry, the, mute, the audio is muted for a second. Every single day on the computer somewhere, one elderly Houston couple took the bait, and then they I called know, right? Amy Davis because they realized they had been hooked and tricked. In guys, there are so many scams online, man. I don't trust a single thing online, guys. Who, who does? Who does? Let me turn that off. Let me turn the ring light on. There we go. Oh gosh, that's our brightest setting. Into paying tens of thousands for these so-called free solar panels. No call free air quotations, guys. It's tech savvy, man. I don't know. I'm sorry. It's retirement for 82 year old Bernard Mosley and his 75 year old wife toss up means staying on a budget. So when a man knocked on their door in Dumbarton Oaks pitching solar panels in December, Bernard initially said no, thank you. Guys, do you guys have solar panels where you live? Let me know in the comments below. I told him since we don't have money. Yeah, I Medicare. Oh, Medicare no, he said, "Oh, there's a government grant. You, it won't cost you anything." Intrigued, Bernard invited the man and another salesperson inside. She started. Yeah, so I used to do door-to-door -door sales, but I never offer free stuff, guys. I, I'd be like ten dollars for like curb painting, or twenty dollars for the design. Man, I, I was I was on a good hustle, man. I kind of miss doing that, bro. I make up to a hundred dollars a day. With a question. Do you own your home? I said, yeah. She said, oh well, government grant was going to cover everything. Did she say why the government would want to give grants to give you free solar panels? She said it was a test. It was a test that that that, that the government was checking the solar panels as for. It kind of sounds believable though, guys, because they give out free. They give out free phones. I, I, I am currently on a free phone plan from the government, guys. Um, yeah. The productivity, etc., etc. In exchange, the Mosleys say the salesperson told them they would have lower electric bills and the panels wouldn't cost them a dime. The couple remember signing one document that day. One page, and then another page that she just wanted an initial. They read it, but they didn't get a copy. Within a few weeks, city inspectors posted these permits and papers on their home, and then crews installed the solar panels. But after that first initial meeting, the Mosleys were never able to reach that helpful salesperson again she always had what the heck that so they actually installed them guys what they went through the city to install them what, what how's this a scam wait did they get their financial information an excuse by text the saleswoman told tasa she was with another customer in court then she got covid then all oh my gosh she's coming up with excuse after excuse what's going on here man she stopped and the bills from Sunrun started. That your Sunrun solar account has a past due balance. The letter said, "Man, this news station should um contact uh, this news station should pay for it, guys, for doing the interview, right? That sucks, bro. But hey, you know they do. Uh, guys, who you think is responsible? The company, guys, or the the quote unquote free salesman?" And they took their info or something. I don't know how they got there. The Mosleys were 30 days past due and now owe late fees laid out in their Sunrun contract. I called and asked for a copy of the contract and then that's when they sent it and it was 40 pages long. 40 pages with Tossa's electronic signature. One of the pages shows the payment schedule. It shows the Mosleys could pay some $38,000 in full for their new solar panel. 150 per month, man. Guys, that's how much I made. I used to make off YouTube. Um, currently, currently we don't make anything off YouTube though. Actually, we we might we might. I don't know. Donations are appreciated, guys.
channels or pay monthly over 25 years. When we get this channel monetized, we'll be able to make money again. At the end of it, the Mosleys would have paid more than $67,000. Bernard what? would be 107 years old. First thing I thought was, oh my God, they're sending us these bills. What happens if we don't pay these? I thought they had to pay 37k or 38k, man. This is too much. Bills. Will they be able to, you know, take, take our home? Good question. When I contacted Sunrun based in San Francisco, a spokesperson told me the saleswoman who knocked on the Mosley's door works for another third party company called Solar Bros out of Dallas. Oh my gosh, Solar Bros like Super Mario, man. Super Mario Bros. Solar Bros. Now, but in, in actuality, I feel bad for this elderly couple man sell solar panels for multiple businesses all of its salespeople are independent contractors and a solar bro spokesperson told me they fired the salesperson who lied to the mosleys about the government grants sunrun told me they they best man they best now hopefully sunrun compensates here will no longer allow that woman to sell their products and within days, Sunrun offered to remove the solar panels from the Mosley's home, repair their roof, and void their contract. I hope other people will see this and know. That's good. That's good. There, there's a decently good ending. I mean, it still got scanned, though. Well, that uh, they need to be very, very careful about uh, purchasing anything, most or less the solar systems. And to be clear, there are no government grants that will pay for solar panels at the federal or at the state level. Okay. Now, yeah, that'd be cool if they did, though, right? That sales representative. I think that would be a cool thing for us to have, like solar panels, guys. I don't think the government will uh, offer that, man. That's, uh, you know, that's into electric bills profit, man. Now sells solar for another company still in Houston. I spoke with her by phone and she admits that she told the Mosleys that government grants would cover the cost of those panels. And she straight up admitted it, guys. All right, let's read a few comments. This is what the news should be everywhere, helping the community instead of trying to invite it. Great job, guys. This type of journalism we need to support. Let's be real. These nice folks only get their issue resolved because the local press got involved. Otherwise, they would have got the runaround. There's always people in every industry trying to scam people. Even if the business is a legitimate, legitimate product or service, those individual, individuals make up, make the rest of us untrusty or untrustworthy. Sorry, of salespeople in general. I hate that YouTube doesn't let us report fake ads. I know, right? I'd be getting like. Phishing scams. I, I see phishing scams like on regular YouTube, You're about man. to see the dark side. Sorry. But yeah, guys. I, I've been seeing phishing scams what? and stuff on YouTube, guys. It, it kind of sucks. And this, this, this basically goes... Like, all, all, the, all the internet scams are basically not... Um, contested, guys. Like, it's kind of sad. But yeah, guys, that's our video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Peace out. Like, comment, subscribe, check out original cre creator in the description. I do all my reactions live on Twitch. Please uh, consider subscribing, man. Later, guys. Later.